You guys cannot keep getting away with this. Okay, let's just do it. I know my shtick over here at the channel is to kind of make over-the-top, ridiculous, and goofy creatures that you can use in your D&D games. Sometimes they're world-ending, sometimes they're very simple. And yeah, that's kind of what I'm known for across TikTok and YouTube and everything else, including our books and just all across the board, I make stupid shit. But every once in a while, somebody in my comment section decides to leave a comment of something so simple, but yet so ridiculous, that I just need to bring it to life. So, Andrew Tab, thank you so much for the Raccoonicorn comment on one of my previous videos. Let's get into it. This is going to be really easy, really simple, and pretty quick. The Raccoonicorn is not a world-ending creature. It's a raccoon with a unicorn horn. But I felt the need to make a video on it because why not? The Raccoonicorn is a magical cross between a raccoon and a unicorn, but not in the way that you'd think. Upon the death of the unicorn, its corpse may end up being feasted on by a raccoon. In the later days to come, the raccoon becomes sentient, more powerful, and sprouts a horn from its head. Raccoonicorns then travel the land, searching for their true purpose. The Raccoonicorn is a small beast. Why? Chaotic cute. Armor class is 14, 55 hit points, 40 foot speed, and a burrow speed of 15 feet. The strength is pretty low at a 5, but the dex is an 18, with a 14 con, 10 intelligence, 12 wisdom, and 12 charisma. This small magical creature is going to get plus 6 to its dex saving throws, plus 6 to acrobatics, and plus 3 to perception. Due to its magical properties, it's obtained from consuming a unicorn. The raccoonicorn has damage resistances from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from non-magical attacks. It is so cute that it cannot be charmed. It has dark vision up to 60 feet and a passive reception of 13. Because of the sentience that this raccoonicorn now has from the magical properties it has gained, it now knows and speaks all languages. Despite it being magical, the CR is only two because it's not that strong. However, they do have keen smell and pack tactics. And last but not least, we have the actions. Very simple, multi-attack. The Raccoonicorn makes two attacks with its Rainbow Bite. Melee weapon attack, plus six to hit, five reach, one target, hit, 2d8 plus four piercing damage, and 1d6 Rainbow Radiant damage. So, there it is, the Raccoonicorn. And since the entire point of this creature coming to life was from a comment from one of my previous videos, the staff log is going to be available for free in our Discord server underneath hashtag video creations. So, I hope you like the Raccoonicorn. Maybe you want to use it in one of your upcoming games. They're small, cute, magical, and honestly, there's a lot of potential with these things, and I can see a lot of really fun stories coming out of using a Raccoonicorn. So, make sure you like and you subscribe, and we'll see you next time over here on the Cantrip Cast.